today we have a radio from a, one of our bulk customers. It's a Maxcom 21E and it's from March 1982. Sorry about the hammering in the background. There is building work going on in the room next door. That knob's just fallen off so we'll just open up the spline a bit and hopefully put it back on in the right place. So at the time these were a bit of a problem for suffering from desense but with so few users on these days shouldn't be a problem at all. So we'll open it up because after all these years it's bound to need some adjustment. So there we have it, I've just unsoldered the loudspeaker. The case on these radios is plastic and I've already got the layout from the user instruction book that came with this radio which has got a block diagram there got the circuit diagram and it's got full alignment details and you sometimes wish that other manufacturers had done similarly so what they want you to do first is to check that the 10.24 crystal oscillator which is the crystal there and the trimmer there are set correctly. But I don't want to do that first. What I want to do is get on with the transmit power. They also talk about VCO alignment. We can test that. We can show you that. Uh, set the radio to channel 40. So it helps if we switch it on. Like that. Connecting a dummy load to the aerial. Connect a circuit tester, it says, to between test point and ground. So that we can do. And it is always nice to have VCO adjustment to um, things in the service manual. So the test point for the VCO the test point is between that resistor and that capacitor. So let's find that in reality. So in reality, and this is going to look awful because it's a digital zoom as we go in and on this camera. So we've got the coil, we've got the transistor, we've got It's there, isn't it? Well, that's the diode. So it's next to it's a mylar capacitor. It's probably easier on the other on the other side. However, if I zoom out, I've got 2.88 on the meter by pressing that into the wax onto that connection. And what it says is we should adjust. L201 wherever the trimming tool's gone so 
So, having got the trimming tool, it says, adjust L201. So they want you to adjust L201 till you've got approximately 3.2 volts. And we're on, we need to be on transmit and I haven't got the mic plugged in. So L201 is the wax filled coil there. Now I'm not going to adjust this, but I'm going to check it's within the constraints they mention. What they want you to do is to check on receive on channel 1 and to make sure it's between 1 and 2 volts, which it is. So that's correct. And what they also want you to do is to check that it's in lock on all channels. So we'll go to channel 40 and that's under 4 volts. So that's fine. So we're going to transmit on channel 40 which we know is 2.1 and we're going to go to channel 1 on transmit and it's 0.98. So tell you what, we are going to adjust that slightly because that is under the one volt. So although it's never been touched in its life, perhaps some component change has made that happen. So I wouldn't normally touch them unless it's out of lock. So we're back to channel 40, we'll go into transmit and we'll try and bring that up. So they said 3.2, we've got that to 3.07, which I think is uh, is fine. So we'll go through that test again. So we'll go to receive, we'll go to channel 1, and it needs to be between 1 and 2, which is 1.89. We'll go to channel 40 and receive, make sure that's in under 4, which it is. And we'll go to transmit on channel 1, and we'll make sure that's in lock as well and it is at 1.63 so we have to, we have readjusted it it was in lock but only just so it's not often I've had to do that so we'll just make sure that that's uh, melted back in so that's the VCO so it's transmit it's with the test point which is to the right of that mylar capacitor and then it's just L201 with transmit on channel 40 for 3.2 volts and then checking that on receive on channel 1 is between 1 and 2 then I go to the trouble to make sure it's in lock on channel 40 as well so that covers that now what we need to do is to go up to transmit so we'll put the test meter away and we'll switch on the mixer, picture in picture, so you can see what power we're doing. So, what we're going to be doing is it's L105 um, first it's L105 which is that one then it's L111 which is that one L112 which is that one and L66 which is that one so first second third and fourth so 
let's go for that. And at the same time, let's see what the radio is doing. I'll put it on the 3 watt range. Are we on low power or something? That's dreadfully low. Oh dear. It's only doing... What's it doing? Um, if that's 3 watts, it's only doing 1.5. Just check it's not on low power. No, that's low power. No, that's not ideal at all. No wonder he's brought it in for service. So let's see what we can peak on that one. So that's already peaked. That's our second adjustment. Well, that soon brought it up to 3 watts. So we'll move on to that one. Just apply some heat to that, that feels tight. That feels like a broken core, so we'll skip that one unless we've got to go back to it. And then we'll move across to L107, L109, so 3 watts from 1.5 watts is a good improvement, no that's still going to be tight. No improvement on that one. And no improvement on that one. So we're I think we've got to do something about that one which is broken. So I'll pause the video and we'll unsolder it and see whether we can get the core out from the other side. So having taken that coil out and turning the core around the other way and kind of gluing it back together, we can now go into transmit and we now now have a full four watts. So that's that bit fixed. And that's a good improvement from one and a half watts. So whilst we've got the camera on this meter, we'll go into deviation and let's have a look what we have got. Wallow. That looks something like. Let's put the little oscillator on it. And the adjustment for deviation is R105, which is that one. So in the radio, it's that one. Let's see how that reads. <whistles> Wallow. There we go. That's two point two to two point five which is where it should be. So that was a bit low. So we'll now look at the meter on the radio. And when we key up, it needs to be reading somewhere like four. It's actually lighting all five up. Let's have a look what the adjustment is for that. So transmit meter is the preset. The second one down just there. So we'll get the yellow tool ready and 
key that up. There we go, four. Now I'm going to set the low power. So we've put the radio onto low power. That's that. It should be 0 0.4 of a watt. So 0 0.4 of a watt on here. If that's three watts, that's one watt. That's half a watt. That's 0 0.4. It's just there. So it's doing 0 0.9, which isn't very helpful. So the low power preset is RV104, which is in that corner, and RV104 is that one down there. So there we go, 0 0.4 watt reset, and it just lights up one on the meter, which is what you'd expect. As far as I can see, that has done all the transmit side of it. So I'll switch that back to high power and we'll do another video for the receive side of this radio. Welcome to 